Hey, what is up guys, Nexi here back from Minecraft Auction update video and today I'm going to be talking about 0.7.3 and the new features that are going to be coming along with this update. Uh, now, I already made a video about 0.7.3 about three weeks back, but since then the developers have released a bunch of information on Twitter including sorry, uh, the release date or the possible release date for the updates. So it's going to be, you know, it's packed with a lot of information in this video and let's just get right into it. But before I go into any more details, uh, I have some big news for the future updates and that is that they added a new developer to the Mojang uh, Minecraft Pocket Edition team uh, and he goes by the name of I, I believe Thomas Chechi and you're going to be seeing a lot of tweets from him because uh, he's working on it. he's actually done a lot of progress and you'll see what kind of things he's done because he's just done so much for the game and I'm really excited because I think this is actually going to speed up the updating process you know g release much more stuff for Minecraft Pocket Edition make the game more like the PC version I guess you could say and I'm going to be I'm really excited for that I'm awesome that they finally decided to add a new you guys since Johan I mean he was working he was making a great game but he was kinda slow so it's great that they added a new guy and I think Minecraft Pocket is just, is just gonna get better from now on so let's just get right into it first of all there's some of the more less interesting stuff I guess you could say and that is the bug fixes so the first bug fix apparently in 0 0.3 there's a login problem uh, where every time you like you log in it just automatically logs you out or something like that I'm not exactly sure what it is uh, it was it didn't really bother me I mean I just wish there was an option to keep yourself logged in so I think they're gonna be fixing that in an upcoming update also the furnace crash bug I didn't experience this personally but maybe you guys have heard of it or experienced it yourself but apparently there's like this furnace crash bug where you, wherever you go into your furnace it like makes you crash or something like that. I'm not exactly sure uh, what it was but apparently that's that is a thing it's a furnace crash bug and they're planning to fix it in the upcoming 0.7.3 update so um, Next thing is is the inventory bug. I don't know what this is either, but apparently every time you go to your inventory, stuff just like randomly jumped out of your inventory and just like fell on the ground. I'm not sure. Tell me also, guys, if you experienced this. I didn't, but apparently that's a thing as well. And the last bug fix, uh, which I you know we know currently about that they're planning to fix, is the capital W cannot be typed. For example, I experienced this a lot whenever I tried to type in a seed, an old seed I knew or something like that, or you know world name. Every time I tried to type in capital W, it just wouldn't let you. It just doesn't let you. I don't know what, why, or what's going on there, but it doesn't let you type in the cup, capital W. So they're going to be fixing that bug. And yeah, so quick little review. They're going to fix the login problem, the furnace crash bug, inventory bug, and the capital W bug. So that's all the bug fixes for 0 0.7.3. Now let's go get into the more juicy news of the updates. So first thing is they will add the ability to reset your realms. So not everybody has realms right now, but they have been, you know, working their way around and making pocket or mine and stuff like that. But for the people who actually have the real realms, you know, got like a little beta or whatever of the realms, uh, like I did, you're going to be able to reset your realms, you know, just whatever world you have, you just, you're going to like pretty much delete it and it's going to create a new realm for you. So that's pretty cool. Um, as you can see, the tweet uh, right here says, but from Johan, it says, you know, just added the ability to in 0.7.3 to reset your realms, making slow progress. So pretty cool. Johan, good job on that. Um, that's pretty cool. And yeah, so that's that for that. Next up is small changes to log in and sessions. And I think this is actually what I was talking about earlier, the fix login problem or the login problem. And that is that you're going to be finally fixing you know, logging in and making it so it remembers you and stuff like that. So I believe that's what Johan and Ment20 um, talked about the small changes on login in login sessions and stuff. Um, next up is <laughs> it's a, it's a pretty small thing, but it's big since it makes the game so much more like a PC, and I think that's why so many people are excited about it. As you can see here, splash text on menu screen, and this is actually from Tommaso Chechi. He tweeted this out, or I, I don't even know how to pronounce that last part. Just tell me in the comments how you pronounce that. Chechi or Tetti or Tetti? I don't know. How, uh, maybe he's Italian. I mean, like stereotypical. Anyway. He wrote, here's a pick for the unbelievers. I'll just have to write all the splashes now. And I, I think I know why it wasn't there. And I, I don't know why it wasn't there, but apparently he knows. And he's going to write a bunch of splashes. So you can see here in the picture, now with 100% more yellow text. That's that's pretty cool. Good job there, Tommaso Cecchi. Makes it more like PC, which is pretty awesome. And we're excited for that, all of us. And yeah, so that's that uh, for that. Next up is Sun, Moon, and Stars. Now. This is going to be a huge feature, and I'm really, really excited about it. As you can see here, um, 
Tommaso Cesci tweeted out a picture and saying and that's first for the, and that's for the first week uh, first week of working on Pocket Edition for him. Uh, but we still he's still still tested on Android, I believe. All the stuff he did and might not be in 0 0.7.3. So like I said, it might not be in 0 0.7.3. Might be in 0 0.7.4, 0 0.8.0. .8 Oh, but as you can see right now, the picture in the background, uh, you can see the moon and the skies and there's stars and all that stuff. And at first, I actually I thought it was photoshopped. I didn't know who this Tommaso guy was. I was like, "What? This is this is fake, obviously, because like the small buttons and stuff." But apparently, he was just using, you know, sh looking at it on computer. So it, it's real. It's legit. You can see the moon and the stars. And this picture actually leads us onto the next information or the next thing for the update and that is spider's eyes now glow in the dark as you can see in the picture uh, you know tweeted out by Tommaso Chechi this you know the spiders now have glowing eyes they're like you know they're bright and stuff like that so that's a cool neat little feature that they have in PC and <clears throat> they decided to incorporate into pocket edition and I, I like that you know I like that they're making more like PC I think it's gonna be awesome and once realms you know fully working and running it's gonna be an awesome game once they add hunger god they need to add hunger don't they and that's pretty much all for the update information when it comes you know what new things are going to add and all the bug fixes so last thing is the release date so Johan tweeted out about two days ago I believe <coughs> that 0 0.7.3 will be submitted in about two weeks you can see on the tweet right here just a few more things to fix so he's gonna be fixing the bugs I assume and he's gonna be able to finally submit 0 0.7.3 um, meaning that 0 0.7.3, if it's submitted in two weeks, let me look at my calendar real quick, real quick, and if he submits it in two weeks, it takes about a one week process, you know, to get it through Apple, so I'm guessing um, that the update should be out somewhere around, um, let's, let's check right here, so one week, two weeks, um, so, wait, okay, sorry guys, okay, so 26th was Monday when he tweeted this out, or July, long wrong month so the 26th was a Friday so two weeks from then is the 9th which is a Friday and if they submit it on there it'll be at about a week so I'm guessing the update is gonna be out sometime between August 15th and August 22nd or maybe if he delays it even longer the 29th I think that's somewhere where the update is gonna be coming out somewhere between August 10th to the 23rd uh, or the 30th somewhere around there I'm not gonna tell you the exact date because you know they haven't tweeted out yet They're, the, the information is not there but this is what we know so far it's gonna be somewhere around there uh, two weeks until it's submitted one week th to get through Apple and yeah uh, but we you know since Minecraft is such a huge game maybe it'll submit it quicker uh, but that's pretty much all for Minecraft Pocket 0.7.3 update information I hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, I tried to get all the information I could um, from all the, you know, the Twitter websites and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new because I'm going to be doing like loads of 0 0.743 videos and update stuff and I don't know. I'm gonna, I just do Pocket Edition and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys. I, I said that like twice. Okay. You know what? I love you. Gotta go. Thanks for watching <laughs> and peace. Love ya.